All right, man, I'm back with another Front Row Talk podcast, the podcast with expensive opinions. This this is episode 55, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, before I get into this episode, as you can see, I'm alongside with my mans. Uh, the guest that's been on the show, uh, March 6th, it's been a whole year. Um, last time he was up here, we talked about the whole Euphoria show, cryptocurrency, uh, NFT, Top five rappers. I yeah, think, I think we five. we talked about a couple of things. Um, Damn, so I, yeah, it's a lot. A lot has. It's been has it's, it's, it's been a long a time. Issue. But before I get into this episode, uh, make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, you share, you check the description down below. We we'll have the link for my Instagram and TikTok where I post clips of each and every single episode. All right, before I get into today's topic. Uh, make sure you tune into last episode episode where I talked about retirement and the episode before that where I talked about top five um rap, hip hop and R and B songs. And the one before that where I talked about Javante Davis fight. Just make sure you tune in as much episodes as you can. Show show love, show support. But as you can see by the title, we will be talking about NBA, we'll be talking about our predictions, the playoff bracket. We'll we'll basically have this will be like a sports based yeah, episode theme. yeah yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah and i felt like bringing him along you know because this is somebody who i've talked to who i talk to on a daily somebody who i talk about we talk basketball a lot we, <laughs> literally every yeah, day like every day especially around now too so um before i even get into it um let's just say that basketball i feel like basketball is something that we you, we never get tired of talking about because it's so much different like avenues we could go into i mean we could talk about a specific player we could talk about his that player's teammate we could talk about that team we could talk about that like we 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 talk about different people all the time and we never yeah, get tired of yeah, it yeah like, like it's different topics yeah there's always an argument it's always, always an opinion always it's, different points of view yeah, exactly. that's a fact that's so, a fact and, it, and, it's, and it's like that for every other sport baseball yeah. football everything. everything i feel like it's just guys understand what we like is it, nah, yeah it's, a is it always an on, ongoing topic yeah, it, yeah. It, it's it's a guy thing yeah i don't know if there's girls out there that do it too that's yeah, that's a fact that's a fact so to get straight into it um let's talk about the playing tournament um so to start off i want to ask you how do you feel about that lakers and minnesota game yeah since he's a lakers fan by the way so. yeah I'm, I'm a well i'm a lebron fan yeah, yeah. but if you seen the first episode between me and you, we talked about that a little mm-hmm. bit. But it, it was a very crazy game, I feel like. Mm-hmm. It was very competitive. It was very... Very, very. Like, yeah, it was very competitive. Like, the yeah. atmosphere in the game, it transferred through the screen because you was at my career. Yeah, he was, was going crazy. He was bugging. <laughs> so, it, it, it was just one of those games that... We could always look back at it and remember, like, oh, definitely, damn, like, look, definitely. damn, this happened or that happened. Yeah. So, overall, though, as a fan, like, as a fan point of view, I feel like we could have played it better offensively. Mm-hmm. But, like you have mentioned, our defense had definitely yeah, your defense stepped up for the last five minutes of the fourth quarter. Yeah, defense stepped up, for and sure. I feel like that's what won you the game. Now, for being sure, honest. it was one of those things that de- defensively, like, the team stepped up the mm-hmm. way that they were supposed to. But definitely. Besides that. LeBron, I feel like he did good yeah. besides the five turnovers that he had that game, but it, it, it didn't really like look like he had the five, turn- right, right. five turnovers. I feel like with AD, it, it showed more, though. Got it. Like, there were certain plays that AD was turning the ball over mm-hmm. easily. Mm-hmm. And the same, like, for Dennis Schroeder. Like, okay. he was, hes like, I don't know, it was like too many hesitant plays. If y'all watch the game, y'all will know what I'm talking about. But okay. besides that, it came to a point that the Wolves was not missing, bro. Like, they wasn't missing. That's a fact. That's a they, fact. They played the best they could play. Yeah. Uh, except Anthony Edwards that had a bad game. Yeah. But over time, he had like four six points. Yeah, but I feel like it was too late. Yeah, by yeah, then. yeah. It was by too then, late. Yeah, by then, exactly. Yeah. But Mike Conley. Oh, yeah, he had a great Kyle game. Kyle Anderson. Great game. Carl Anthony great Towns. Game. Yeah, Carl Anthony All those Towns. people stepped up. Bro. And and let's not forget, they, they didn't have Rudy Gobert because of what he did. Exactly. And then um, McDaniels because uh, he, yeah, he did right as hand. well. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. they had, but it still was a good game to watch. You, you think it would have been like a. a I think it would have definitely been. I mean, you got a whole. You got somebody who's over six ten out there, and Rudy Gobert, who could play with the another paint. Six, seven. Yeah, but I, so I feel like I it would it would have been the 
the pace of Minnesota wouldn't have been as fast as it was yeah, yeah, yeah. because with Rudy Gobert, the game slows down. But it, it defensively, they also got some stops as well. So it's something that I, I wouldn't. They still played hard, mm-hmm. um, surprisingly. But at the same time, it makes sense because, like I said, the pace of the game changes with Rudy or in or out. I feel um, like Cal was loosened up though. Yeah, you know, without he him good. on the court, I, I I feel like we seen like what cat is about no, you know he showed up for sure like with rudy sure. on the floor i don't there's not too much space in front no yeah that's what i'm saying so, so it, it's, the it's he did. exactly so. he was playmaking he was doing it all so now moving on to the um the miami and um <laughs> the hawks the hawks game what you think about that that disappointment because i'm a i'm a jimmy butler supporter so okay. it's like just the way he I, I didn't think he didn't show. I wouldn't say he ain't bro, showed up, but we know what his potential yeah, is when it comes bro, to that. He had like, like that. 23 points, 22. I don't yeah. know specifically, but it was out of like 19 attempts. Yeah, no, so no, no. he's not efficient. Yeah, at he all. played bad. The yeah. ones that stepped up was like Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, Kyle Lowry had a. Yo, and it's crazy. Before the game, me and him sat down and was like, yeah, Kyle Lowry's oh, yeah. washed. Kyle Lowry's washed because one of our friends. I definitely said that. Definitely yeah, one of our that. friends like asked us like yo like yo what's up with Kyle Lowry? is he good still and we're like nah he's and he went for 30 that game yeah he, he went for 30 that. plus that game it, it's like it's <laughs> quick. i feel like it, it caught i mean a quarters of guard because of what we said nah, yeah, he but was we clearly know that, that that wasn't enough to be trey young and dejounte murray in a hog so it, it wasn't even more about dejounte murray it was bro. capella it was just the paint yeah like, the, the way offensive like, rebound yes, and the second bro. chance points. Yeah, remember bro. we saw that game live as well. So this whole week, just we just been talking about like, a whole bunch. It of was a whole break that the Miami Heat went. Yeah, kept trying to score in the paint, and it wasn't yeah, working it was for not, them. It bro. Was like, not it. it was not. And it. then you know, then they shooters wasn't hitting shots. Yeah, or sub Kyle Lowry. That's it. Yeah, but besides so, that, it's gonna it Hugs Hugs versus. Yeah, I was about to ask you about Boston. that, but before we get to that, um, let's talk about yesterday's. By the way, this we're recording this the day before. We're recording this on Thursdays. Y'all be seeing this Friday. So tomorrow, when this is out, you it'll be the the last playing games. But before we get into that, um, let's talk about yesterday Pelicans and OKC. What you think about that? That was a good game, bro. Right. Yeah, I, I, both. And I'm a, I'm a Brandon Ingram fan, so yeah, 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 I'll yeah. say my I'll say my point of view. I mean, I, I he showed up. Um, he, yeah, Valen he did show up. showed up. Yeah, he showed up. Um, CJ McCollum played not as bad. much. Yeah. Um, okay, see. Nah, bro, they, they they young core, bro. Yeah, that's they, tough. I'm not gonna lie, like I was not expecting that from Luke Dort, mm-hmm. Josh Giddy. And Shay Shay Yeah, Shay 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 SGA basically. SGA though, yeah. I did not I mean I expected that from SGA, but Josh Giddy, I didn't think he was gonna play. Lou Dort surprised me. Nah, yeah, he yeah. had twenty in the first half. Because he's a def- uh, Yeah, uh, he's he's a, def- maybe a defender. Yeah, he's a so. more, more we know he could shoot, we know he got a yeah. shot, but yeah, I just took that energy. Yeah, bro. I think he took the initiative to For sure. You know, he knew what was at stake, elimination or you advanced to play yeah, Minnesota. For sure. So they definitely showed up. Um, shout out to OKC. I mean, I I, I pay. I give respect when it's due. Shout out SGA for a fact. Um, uh, they 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 did they thing. Um, Brandon. I mean, I feel like, of course, injuries are part of the game. But had they had Zion, it would have been a whole different. Um, um yeah, you're missing twenty six points per game. Yeah. Me, so. so twenty six. I mean, but who knows? And, uh, who knows? Like, yeah, they still could have lost. Yeah, but I'm just yeah, saying, yeah, with yeah. Zion, they have a better chance. I just feel like OKC played the best they could. Yeah, play. yeah, no, no. They, like, they they really showed up. They showed up. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the other side of the playing, um, yesterday as well. Uh, Toronto Raptors played Chicago Bulls. Uh, yeah. What you think about that? That was a good game, but Toronto missed eighteen free throws. Because of who? Because <laughs> the mother was the mother was in daughter. Yo, daughter. Like, like I was watching a game, and it's funny too, because I was watching a game, and I'm hearing screams. And I'm like, yo, what fan is bugging out screaming like that? <laughs> Until the reporters put Bro, the camera on her. I'm not gonna lie, 
I thought that was from like the yeah. The I thought no, I'm serious. I thought it was a baby at first. I'm like, yo, who brought their baby to their game? Cause it was consistent screaming. So I'm like, yo, like yeah. who, whose baby is crying? Until they, the, like I said, the reporters put the camera on her, mm -hmm. and she was literally timing the screams as they shot yo, the, bro, the free throws. There's a whole clip at the end of the game that she's screaming from the other side of the court, yo, like, bro, 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 bro. from like. From the other end. Literally, like, yeah. Samil shooting a free throw, yeah. and it's like I'm on the other side screaming my lungs out. Yeah, nah, Mind you, crazy. every fan of Toronto was quiet, so yeah. you heard it even more. You just heard her. That's a Yeah, fact. bro. That's a fact. And I think the Rosen said, like, he didn't even, like, he, he thought, like, it was somebody ra random. He didn't um, even know it was his daughter. Yeah, until he looked, Damn. and then he seen that it was his daughter doing it. I mean, that's good. That's good support system, though. Nah, yeah, and then he said, like, he had to make sure his daughter was okay because he thought it was, like, for some mother's Yeah, you know, for some other stuff. stuff. But but besides that, how you think about um, Levine's performance? 39 he points. He sucked up. Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. I'll be talking down on him. I don't... It's, it's because... I don't know if I'm being biased, but... No. Sometimes I bet on him, okay, and I be putting him to get fifteen and he don't, he don't give points. You that. He don't give. And it's like I expect Levine to give me at least twenty three or twenty five okay. a game every I night. I respect it, but he stepped up, bro. He finished with thirty nine. I gotta give it to him. Mm -hmm. Give him his props. Yep. So Toronto's eliminated. So that mm -hmm. means that it'll be the Bulls and Miami. Who you think takes that? A lot of people saying the Bulls. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the last record of them. I, I'm not. I seen a stat. I think the Bulls beat Miami every time they seen them. Like seven in a row, something like that. No, 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 no. It was like a three and zero record. As in Miami, um, as in Bulls beat Miami every time. So I mean, we could go off that record if if, if, if there's a lot of stat heads out there who really go off by what you know. And I respect it. Um, then I guess it'll be the smart thing to pick Chicago. But I don't know. I I, I don't expect. Butler to have a bad performance like that again. again yeah, know. yeah. It, it's just one of those things that you look at it like, oh, okay, Miami he has home advantage, okay. but it's like Miami Heat fans aren't like, yeah, they're not. aren't like no Golden State fans yeah. like or any other crowd that gets loud yeah. and stuff like that. So it's like I look at it more as if Levine does what he does again. Okay, I'm not saying he got to score 39 because he don't. But if he scores 25, the Rosen scores 20 to 25, okay. and Vicevic, I feel like he's he, he got to be a big piece that for game, sure, too, for sure. with Bam Adebayo. And then it's like, I don't know, they probably motivated because they got Patrick Beverly. I don't know, bro. Don't it, could be, it could be a lot of different factors. But I'm I'm going to still go with the, with the Heat. Okay, I respect I, I'm going to still go with the Heat. Um, I'll say... I got Chicago one. You got Chicago. Got it, Chicago it's like winning. for some reason it's giving me those vibes. I got bro. you. I mean, I, 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 I'd expect you to go for Heat because I don't like. I said I personally don't think Jimmy Butler would be not as he would be more efficient, meaning he would make more shots, miss less in a sense. Yeah. Um, and but I don't know. I think that, but I don't. I don't think Kyle Lowry is gonna show up how he did nah, again. Nah. Please prove me wrong if I'm wrong. <laughs> no, nah, I don't uh, think so either. But like you know, so I I, I hope Bam has a big a yeah big yeah game. for sure for sure. I hope he gets like twenty and ten okay type of game. Okay, and then, that's possible. I obviously Butler yeah. But the thing is, like I've seen Miami Heat win games without Butler having to score thirty. Yeah yeah for sure. Like, but that's when that's when. You got Hero showing up. That's Hero, what you got. Bam. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah, we'll like just that. see how it goes. And what about uh, Minnesota and OKC? Who do you who do you got? I don't pick. I don't want to hate because mm -hmm. it's like low key Oklahoma could make the upset. They'll have to perform just the how they same. The same. Just but I'm gonna go with with Minnesota because so am I. So am I. But I'm hearing that Rudy Gobert might not play again. I still got them. You still got I them st because. I seen what Val I seen what um what's this guy name from Cat? the Pelicans from the Pelicans the Valanciunas yeah yeah Valanci I seen what he did last night and Cat is better than him he could shoot the three he's bigger yeah he might not rebound as much as Valanciunas he might I mean I don't know stats that stats may prove me right or wrong but what I'm trying to say is is that. I think it's gonna be tough. I don't think Ant Edwards is gonna score nine points how he did against the other Lakers. I think he's gonna I, score more. How much? You, like, what's your pretty like saying? Twenty anything? plus. So I gotta go. go. Yeah. And then Rudy Gobert might be out. It's not a hundred percent. So it's like I, rebounding wise, they just could yeah, yeah, chuck yeah, it yeah, to yeah, them, yeah, yeah. and it's easy points. The the re, this is the only reason why I'm picking them. Mm -hmm. 
is because I feel like it will be the better matchup against the Nuggets. Okay. They definitely would, for so, sure. So, it's for like sure. if I see OKC in the first round, this might, fun- they, this might break Xavier's heart, but it's <laughs> like, bro, the Nuggets, come on, bro. Nah, like, yeah, it'll be GG. Like, y'all OBG. still young. You got yoke. Like, there's a, yeah. sh- a lot of stuff going for on. OKC. For OKC. Yeah, for, exactly. Yeah, right. And and for Minnesota, I feel like they got the squad that they want to a bit more mature, yeah, exactly. a bit older. They they got they got the the height for exactly it well. exactly. So I feel like it will be a better matchup seeing Jokic what he can do against Gobert and Cat on the floor. Okay, type I thing. respect that. I respect yeah, that. Yeah, that's how. That, just just for the fun of it, like, right. I want to see what's up with that. Yeah, I, th- I think I'm thinking about it the same way. I right, bet now starting with the playoff bracket, we're past the playing now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we gave our predictions. We gave our thoughts on it. So, uh, we said that we got the start off with the first and AFC. So, we said we got Minnesota winning. Oh, so, yeah, Denver versus side. Minnesota. Who you got? Nuggets. And how much games? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say probably like six. six. Oh, you think Minnesota could take two games? They definitely could. Okay. Bro. It's I not re- like they can't either. Okay, okay. I yeah. respect it. All right. So, we got... Fourth seed Suns and fifth seed Clippers. Who you got? The Suns. Uh, how I much got game? them in six. And why? Kevin Durant. I right, I respect that. And, so, you, and no Paul George. Okay, I was that. Right. So do you? Yeah. So it had Paul George been? You still got Suns? Had Paul George? Yeah, been yeah, yeah. I still got Suns. Nothing okay. is changing my mind, but okay. it's just like I don't know. Like it's just one of those things that I just uh, is giving he, me those vibes, bro. Yeah, that's it. Just, that's just all right. Yeah, so yeah, third yeah. seed Sacramento Kings versus my six seed Golden State Warriors. Who do you have? The Kings. No, let me right, stop. Bad, 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 bad. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got Warriors in five or six. I the respect most. That. I respect the that. most. I respect that. Uh, why? Why you think that? I, if you ask me, just because this is my team, giving my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. got us in six. Um, I'm gonna respect Sacramento Kings offense, but I think we have more experience. I think we have better defense. We have yeah, the yeah. better player on the court. Yeah, yeah. Um, um it's just one of those things that yeah. is gonna come down to like, I don't know. I don't think Kings are prepared okay. to. Go they, they, by the way, whoever's the King fans out there, they already yeah did something not, we, yeah, we yeah. didn't expect. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dissing them. Yeah. I just don't think that they honestly are prepared to like handle Curry for most of the game Obviously. that's okay. that's me i don't see fox running around for keeping up with him. six 37 minutes a whole game i don't like i don't see that happening yeah. and you got andrew wiggins coming back it's just too much weapons in a sense exactly and experience. exactly okay. and, and we, ne- we didn't even mention draymond green clay thompson yeah 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 jordan Poole. all right so moving on uh second seed memphis grizzlies against your seven seed lakers who you got i got lakers in six okay yo yeah. by the way i got lakers in six too yeah i got I them in it. six even though i i i don't i wouldn't mind if we lose the first game okay even and there, there was a fact that lebron hasn't haven't lost of a game once since like 2018. so it's like it's one of those things that lebron could just possibly pull it off mm-hmm. and and if they lose second game, they probably don't care. Like, ah, I bet. Okay. Like, we lost it, we lost it, and then go back home comfortable. Okay, so to my win. question to you is, how do, it's a lot of people out there, Twitter streets, a lot of people saying that Memphis could beat you. How you feel about they that? They could. Bro, I'm not denying that Memphis could beat us. Okay. They have the ability to. They have the weapons. They have the ability. They okay. got Luke Kennard, one of the best three-point percentages in the yeah, league for sure. today. They got Jared Jackson, potential defensive player of the year. They got a good role player, Desmond Bain, that can hit shots, can mm-hmm. play defense. And then you obviously got John Moran, the all-star player. And okay. then Dylan Brooks. Uh, a good defensive player. Good, good yeah. presence. Good so presence. they have a, a good squad. Yeah. It's just, I feel like the way LeBron and the Lakers team are going to maneuver around them. Mm-hmm. It's, gonna be- it's just going to, I don't think the Memphis are going to be capable of just like stopping them all the way got it but the only way i see the lakers losing is if the lakers play bad okay. if Rui hashimura i yeah. think i don't i don't yeah that's, don't, that's don't his don't name me. yeah yeah, hashimura, yeah dennis schroeder uh-huh. troy brown jr d lo d lo for sure these players that they picked up if they could step up then we could win got if it. they don't then ggs got it all right so yeah. now moving to the east side of the bracket east side uh, let's start with the first seed, Milwaukee Bucks, and then 
I said I got the Bulls. Yeah. So on my end, I would say that the Bucks will beat the Bulls in five. Like last year. Yeah. Yeah. I think that <laughs> I think Giannis is going to feel me like Look, um how about you I mean you got I mean, the you got I, the heat I picked the heat but I feel like anybody that goes against Milwaukee is going to lose in 5 or 6 Okay okay like, but for some reason I feel like the heat could possibly be a better matchup Okay don't quote me on that but that's just my opinion mm-hmm. yeah. Um what about Cavs and the Knicks oh series my God. that series I feel like that's the that may be the only series or one of the only series that has the potential to go seven games. It, seven it does. Games be, be, for sure. Besides, besides probably like the the, I don't know. No, no. I was gonna say the Clippers, but if PG don't come back, then no, 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 so. no, no. Yeah, yeah. But if if this is one of those things, bro. Like the Knicks, uh-huh. the, I I'm I've never been a a, a, a fan, fan of the Knicks. Okay. Never. Like I always dislike them. But this year, like, bro, they ages they caught my attention for okay. some reason. Like, I, I sometimes the games that I've been watching of them, they, they've, bro, they play aggressive. It's because they've, they, I'm not going, they won a lot. Yeah. I mean, they, they ended, they, they ended 50. That's not a bad season. Yeah, that's not yeah, bad at so. all. And it's like, they added Josh Hart. That's a good one. Great got, rebounding point guard. Exactly. They, and they added, a, a, they, they added, they been had a candidate, a candidate for the six man of the year. Okay, Emmanuel yeah, Quigley. yes, for sure. So he he could step up anytime. Mm-hmm. They have uh, they have Jalen Brunson obviously this season the big sign, and I feel like it it could go both ways. Don't get me wrong. Okay. I would not be surprised if the Knicks upset the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh-huh. It's just it's gonna come to the point that is. It's if, up to Randall. It's up to Randall if he performs the way he's supposed to perform. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I see Cleveland since they got Donovan Mitchell. We know what Donovan Mitchell could do in the playoffs. Yeah, for sure. Um, I got I got Cavs in six or seven. I respect it. Yeah. So uh, moving on, 76ers and Nets. What about you? What I got Sixers, you? but yeah. I I like the Nets a lot, bro. I like yeah. their squad, but you know you got Joel Embiid, Claxton. Yeah, they're going up. They're going up against arguably the MVP of the league this exactly. year. So I, I'm gonna have to favor. And I'm even not, though, even though Macau Bridges been performing, he been mm-hmm. holding it down. I feel yeah, like the, the squad been holding it yeah, down. Yeah, for sure. They st- I down. mean, they stood six seed. They could have dropped since mm-hmm. KD and, exactly. and Kyrie left this season. Exactly. So I'm gonna have to side with the 76ers, and I'll say they'll probably five, six, probably, probably six. I say five though. Yeah, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to disrespect the Sixers. Yeah, too much. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're <laughs> definitely, they're definitely going to take that series. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now, um, the second seed Celtics versus the seventh seed Atlanta Hawks. Ooh. Before you, while you think about it, I got. I don't know what you're going to say. This series, but Celtics are four. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, that, that's that's gonna be Celtics all the way. I mean, I got, yeah, yeah. I got them in five as well. It's it's just one of those things that. I've seen Trey Young play as his best, and I've seen Trey Young play as his worst. Yes. So it's like I've seen Trey Young versus the Heat play bad. And we know the backcourt. Well, is it? I mean, not the backcourt because the John T. Murray and, and Trey no, Young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, you talking about Celtics? Yeah, yeah. But Jaylen it's not Brown and yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason Tatum. Well, yeah, yeah. So do we know what they about? They was just in a yeah, finals. Yeah, bro. Celtics. I'm a Jalen Brown fan. Uh, so it's like yeah, Jalen Brown. Oh, I said Jalen Brown. Uh, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus mm-hmm. Spar, R. Holford, all of them. Yeah, Rob they, they hots, bro. They yeah. hots. So they go in the second round for sure. All right, so moving on to the second round of the NBA playoffs 2023. <laughs> this um, should get interesting. So the Nuggets versus Suns. While we, I'm saying it because that's what we both fully believe is going to happen. Go uh, before, let me, I'm going to take initiative right, this go one. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm go a, I'll say I got the Suns. This is interesting, though. Why, though? Why? Like, because MPJ, I okay. feel like Aaron Gordon is an impactful player, and we're going to get into impactful yeah, yeah, players yeah. after this. Yeah, I feel like he's an imp- impactful player for that series. So, But I I want to say the Suns, and I'm going to go with the Suns. Okay. And I'll say Suns in six or seven. All right. Um, of course, Jokic matters in that series. Do you think it's more because of the uh, the Nuggets' lack of defense? So uh, no, I feel like, yeah, I guess you could say de- de- defensively, but not only that, it's, they got to they gotta punch back because we know, as in, Suns have a great offense. Right. 
they gotta keep up no, offensively because yeah, sure. they're not they're both not the best defensive teams so it, it comes down to who, who whose offense could keep up mm-hmm. more exactly so I, i'm a favorite of suns and six um then the lakers versus the warriors mm-hmm. um and i'm gonna kind of enter- entertain this one uh, and you'll see what i mean by that <laughs> i got my warriors Obviously, in yeah. six okay uh why because it's, it's, it's tough because y'all have great defense. But the reason why I got us is that I just feel like, I mean, that's not what I feel like. It's, it's proven facts. When Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, and Stephen Curry's healthy, God willing they'll be healthy. God forbid any injury. Uh, they have a very great, successful postseason. And not only that, uh, I feel like we have the defense that, yeah, I have as well. I mean, Kaminga, Wiggins. Wiggins will be Divincenzo, way better by the set. DiVincenzo, um, Draymond Green. Oh, JP. J- mm, Gary Payton. Gary Payton. Oh, GP. Yeah, yeah, GP. GP. Okay, GP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said GP. So, so <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going to be easy. I got us in six or seven against Yo, him. isn't that, like, besides the finals, this okay. is the first time that we will see Curry and LeBron first each other on the playoffs. Yes, yes. Yeah, besides the finals. The fi- besides that was, like, the, the last time. Type That's thing. crazy. And they have been going at it for five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I respect your opinion. Six or seven, though. No, no, I'm respectfully. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, it's vice versa, but I got yeah, Lakers in six or seven. Okay. And okay. my reasoning is because it's just one of those things that I feel like we balance out your team. Okay. Because we, it's, yeah, y'all got the better shooters, obviously. Mm-hmm. But it's just one of those things like, I feel like, what if your shooters is not knocking down that night type okay. of thing? Which. You know, I'm not trying to knock down the Warriors or nothing, mm-hmm. but it's just one of those things that, you know, they sometimes... They three, die by the three? Yeah, it's that type of yeah, thing. Yeah. So it's just one of those things that I feel like that Lakers could defensively at least make a one or two games mm-hmm. play that way. Okay. At least. I respect it. Or probably more, I don't know. And also, I just... This year alone mm-hmm. through the season i know season don't matter oh by the way thank thank god you said the season the reason why i'm not going off our season mm-hmm. matchups regular season mm-hmm. is because on our end we didn't have a, a healthy player or uh-huh. players and on your end you all have a healthy player okay, or so players. you have you, you so have i don't really, the full potential yeah i don't really want to go off that yes y'all got the season um yeah series i think, over. I think like three one yeah so yeah, yeah. Like that. I, I give that to y'all but like i said playoff atmosphere is a whole different Game. It, it's gonna be good. I don't. I, it's just. I don't know. It's just one of those things that. I, LeBron versus Curry. I mean, who doesn't want to see that? I feel it's like, like I don't. I don't want to go against LeBron. Now, of course, I respect it's just, it. I it's respect just one it. of those things. We'll have to see. But this is why I said I'm gonna entertain it. Because if Memphis beats ya and it's us against Memphis, <laughs> and I, I'm only doing this just for 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 entertainment purposes. Okay. I got us in five or six against Memphis. Same. Yeah. Same. So, but we could we could get put. Past that, yeah, so. I, I, and it's yeah. funny he mentions that because through the season, like towards the end of the season, I told him like, "Yo, if y'all versus Memphis uh-huh. somehow in the playoffs, oh, I remember when you said this. This, it could become real entertaining because we already know the his like yeah, not the, the history, the, the toxic, but the, the this being season. toxic and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, like Dylan Brooks and you all know, that. the viewers are gonna yeah, want to see yeah. that. Everybody's gonna want to see that. But also, people want to see LeBron and Curry for sure. Yeah. So just, to move past, we got Milwaukee. And you said Cavs. Mm-hmm. So that's interesting. And this is why I say it's interesting. Donovan Mitchell's going to cook. I, I think that'll be his best series. You, and I got a question. You don't think he will have a bad game? For sure. With but, Drew Holiday on him? I, I, and I knew he was going to say that. But the reason why I say he's going to cook is I feel like he's going to be more of a playmaker. And okay. not only that. He is a good playmaker. As a team, they got Mobley. Mm-hmm. And, and so... It ain't gonna stop Giannis. Giannis is Giannis, yeah, 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 but yeah. it could build the wall. Cause of Jared Allen never. Exactly. Moved. Now, the question is: Is Middleton gonna be at his full potential by the second round? Cause he's gonna be a key in that series. So that's what I'm saying. It's an interesting series. But if you ask me, I got Milwaukee I'm winning. Peep this. I feel like Milwaukee also got a wall. They got Brook Lopez. Yeah, but and, and he's he, more he. Because he shoots the three, you don't see him down there like that. I mean, no, because oh, ma- down remember there. shooting the threes offensively. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he I, does. I, have he's like, not as mobile, so I like mm. he, they're gonna try to get him out the paint. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
what well i mean on the other hand mobley this and is Tengi, what they're gonna, gonna play the play to. so it's like it's gonna come down to role players bro okay the role players of Milwaukee Bucks is going to have to step up, mm-hmm. make the ball. Lover on Cavs. And, and the same for, for the Cavs. Okay. People from the Cavs going to have to step up. That's, it's just going to come down to the wire, but I still got Milwaukee beating. And how much? I got them winning in six. I say the same. So we got yeah. Milwaukee in six for that yeah, series. Yeah, but the playoffs so far, bro, like, it looks, it's looking like every game might go to six. No, 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 definitely. This playoffs is and it's whack because poor George ain't here. I, yeah, I think yeah. that's the only vote. And yeah. I just don't see them still beating them. No, no, I'm just why. saying, as in, like, if Paul George would have been here, we could have said all around everybody's healthy. Oh, oh so yeah, that's, yeah, what yeah, I that's true. So now 76ers and Celtics. Second Damn. round. That's so, that's, Damn. that's so entertaining. That might go seven. I kid you not, that might go seven. It's just, like, we were talking about this. It's just one of those years, and it has gotten to the point that Embiid has to show up show up that's it mm-hmm. last year he averaged 23 points per game in the playoff mm-hmm. if i'm not mistaken he didn't like there was yeah probably some games that he stepped up but okay the majority of it he didn't and it's just one of those things that i feel like we have seen the 76ers this year in yeah. their full potential type thing okay so it's like the pressure is on them now yeah on harden and, and be like okay Y'all got a couple people now. Like, what's up? Like, what's up? Let, 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 what, what can y'all do now? Okay. If you ask me, but I, I st- it's just no so way. Before six, no, bro. no, I know, I, I knew he was gonna say that before that. If Harden turns up, that's interesting. And he don't gotta turn up every game. No, not every game. But I mean, if he has two games at least that he could score twenty five or more with ten assists or eight assists. That's interesting. With MB scoring thirty, yeah, 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 yeah. and and Maxi doing his thing, exactly. And Maxi, doing. exactly. If they if they could do that at least for two games, bro, mm-hmm. they could take those games. That's what I'm saying. But I, I just hope that bigger Tatum, picture. I got Celtics. Yeah, yeah, me too. I got. I, but I, I don't got, know. How, I don't know how many games. Six, seven. I'm gonna just say Celtics. Yo, you don't. You don't yeah, even want to. You don't want to put a number. Yeah, to it. I can't. All right, bye, bye, bye. Just hopefully Tatum don't be cold, bro. Nah, we gonna see. You we know he sometimes see. misses, but Tatum. And JB. Yeah, it's hard to bet against them, especially from what we said. They just got to the finals, but we're going to see. All right, so now we're moving on to the Western Conference Finals and Eastern Conference Finals. Um, before I keep going, make sure you subscribe, you like, and yes, you sir, comment. Yes, um, and so, tell us, and if y'all watching this, like on TikTok, YouTube, anywhere, like give y'all predictions. I'm sure. Like, I want to see, like, it could be anybody. It don't matter. Like, take, take, a minute out of your day to just com- comment and to fact chip in or whatever it is if you're a basketball fan or something like that just comment give your predictions because so you know he's gonna read them nah and, yeah i'm gonna definitely reply to all of them too. and it's like you know sometimes as a group we just talk about it too and we and we just want to see your point exactly. of your, your, your opinions so now um so we got sun so like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you cook Suns and you got Lakers and Suns Western Conference Finals. This is interesting because he he got Suns all the way, but it's like, are you gonna bet against LeBron like that? A long time, lifelong time LeBron. This fan. is hard, bro. This it is, is hard, hard, but this is this is what this playoffs is about. It ain't it ain't easy. <laughs> if if um, I got I got the Suns. You got the Suns. That's why. Because y'all got better defense than the Suns. I hope you know that. It's just going to come down to, like, who is knocking down shots and shit. So you bro. think they'll knock down more shots than y'all? Yes. Okay. For sure. Um, I, Just all around three-point mid-range. And it's like, it's, I cannot say, yeah, they don't got nobody to guard AD because they got Aiden and KD that could pass. I'm not saying that KD got to play defense on AD. Right. But if AD easily trying to go in the paint and stuff. Yeah. He could get his buckets against Aiden, but I feel like they're gonna try to mush him up. Okay. Like try to like quickly rotate. Get the ball off him. Yeah. yeah. And it's gonna come down to like people knocking down shots, like mm-hmm. I keep saying. And bro, I just seen the Lakers is sometimes miss a lot, bro. Yeah. So it's like I already know Devin Booker. When Devin Booker's hot, bro, he's hot. Kevin Durant. We already know Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant body. is yeah. Kevin Durant. And for some reason, I feel like Kevin Durant this year playoffs. I don't know. I hope I'm not wrong, but he's just coming for 
quote unquote like revenge. Okay. And I'm not because saying, of what happened last yeah, year. Yeah, because of what happened last year, the critics yeah. and everything else. Like, like this is one of those years that I'm just supporting the rant to really go far, far. I respect it. I respect it. And I'm never I, like I'm not a fan of the rant. Nothing. It's just you just from what you think. Like you, exactly. how you think he will approach the situation yeah, exactly. this time around. But okay. if the Lakers win. <laughs> Uh, hold on, hold off to that. Right, so man. now, we got a Bucks and Celtics. Who you got? But wait, Suns and what against the Lakers? In six or seven. Okay, now Bucks and Celtics. Who you got? And then I'm gonna give my prediction. Damn, bro. I look. He got Milwaukee going all the way. Think so. But if they don't have Middleton, then I don't know. Okay. Like, cause last no, but this is this is what. Well, of course, you're speaking in a in a, in a healthy. Everybody's healthy, okay. exactly. Nah, yeah, I got Milwaukee. You got Milwaukee. How, I got Milwaukee. how much? I got them in seven. And why? Just you feel like they going? <clears throat> they too tough. They added a lot of. They added two or three good pieces. I mean, team. that team is good all around. Didn't they win a good eight nine games without Giannis? Something like that. Yeah, and they went on like on a fifteen game. Yeah, they 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 tough, but it's like it's just they added like the same for the for the Celtics. They added good pieces too. Mm -hmm. They added Malcolm Brogdon. So you you think that's definitely going seven? Yes. Okay. I respect. And it's like I agree. They both cancel each other out. In a sense, in a sense. But I don't know. I don't. Tatum got had knocked down a lot of shots. Yeah. He can't. He can't do this cold, ish no more. Not and and I'm not trying to say that Tatum be cold. It's just he cannot. This player, he cannot. He could afford, be inefficient a lot of times. He cannot afford to make a lot of the turnovers that he did. Last oh, that's year. another thing. Turnovers. If he cannot do that. If and it's like, I don't know. I just I don't see Giannis losing to them back to back again. Okay. In a recent con- like I know last year was second round. Yeah. But this year, like if. Like obviously the way the standings are, they're gonna meet in the Easter Conference, and it, I just don't see. Milwaukee you don't think that he he'll fall off being so close to the chip? In a sense, or being so exactly, close to the finals. Exactly. Right. Like I just like I feel like Giannis put himself in a status. Yeah. That if he's that close to the championship, I don't think he's gonna lose. Right, but so now I'm gonna give my predictions. Um, I got what is it? Sun. I got Suns and 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 Warriors, the Western Conference Finals. Must watch TV. <laughs> well, Curry versus Kevin Durant. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, these playoffs. CP3. Clay Thompson, Devin Booker. I mean, there's a lot of narratives on the line, and and I, the reason why I mention that is because there's a lot of people who like narratives. There's a lot of people who are driven by that. So you know, to each his own, whatever the case may be. I got us winning in six or seven games, and I know I'm not being specific. I know that you may want to hear a specific amount of games, but honestly, I really can't just give you a specific number. Um, that's why I don't blame you for not putting a number yeah, in yeah, that. And yeah, that's the Sixers yeah. and the Celtics. But the reason why I got this winning is because I think that I would. I think that because, and I'm not saying we're gonna approach it the same way. But you see how Celtics played KD. Mm-hmm. I think we're gonna. Wait, 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 Celtics played KD last series last year. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna do that. I wouldn't say we're gonna approach it that way. Because they have way more options. It's not like we could just focus on KD. They got deep book. They yeah, got yeah, exactly, exactly. So, but what I think is, I think that because it's, I think we're gonna throw all of, I think we're gonna throw all of our good defenders at KD at different points of the series, and whoever attaches to him the best, of course they're not gonna stop him, but just yeah. disrupt him, like probably make him turn over here and there or make him miss a couple of shots. Yeah. Kevin Durant is Kevin Durant. We already know this. So we're not going to stop him 100%. But I, like, uh, I just think Curry, Clay, and Dre as a trio. Yeah, uh, I don't, best, best. Yeah, I don't think that they're going to want to lose to KD. And I, KD would not want to lose to them. Yeah. But because I feel like we have a better team all around. I feel like we have more depth off the bench. I feel yeah. like we have better defense. I feel like... I don't care what you say. I feel like we have the better player on the floor. Yeah, bro, that's a must-watch. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's why I started off. Must-watch TV. I got us winning that, and I got us going to the finals. And then you got Bucks the and Celtics. Bro, oh, that's tough. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's like I don't know. But I'm going to just say I got Bucks. I, like I said, I don't think Giannis is going to want to lose to them again. 
and yeah, yeah. Well, Bucks and Warriors finals that's Yo. going seven games, and 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 this is I'm a, because I'm biased. Respect to Giannis, respect to him. <laughs> Giannis is Giannis. I feel like he's been the better best player in the league for the past two three years, yeah, and and yeah, yeah. yeah, like I got it since seven. Um, like I said, I'm being biased with this. Uh, and yeah, uh, that oh, that's yeah. the only series you where see me. I got Milwaukee beating them. I respect if it. if y'all yeah, go to the finals, uh-huh. I got Milwaukee beating y'all. Yeah. And and how long? And how much? Probably like in seven or six. Seven. Yeah. But is I don't know. I I just feel like it's just gonna be one of those series. If Bucks go against the Warriors in the finals, bro. Not to be disrespectful to mm-hmm. Warriors fan, mm-hmm. but Giannis is gonna torch. Oh no no no! Giannis bro. might average 35, 36, 37 <laughs> like, points. It's just gonna be one of those we, things. We, but the thing is, we gonna try to eliminate the options around him. Yeah yeah, like Drew Holiday, Drew Holiday Middleton, Cunnington, Pat Cunnington, Grayson Allen. We are gonna try to do yeah, all yeah, because like, nobody can stop Giannis, and we don't yeah. even got the height to believe. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. trying to say? So that's out the window. I, I I will be honest with that. So I got us in seven games. Now your final prediction. I got Suns Sun and Milwaukee. And what you oh sorry repeat uh two years ago. Yeah. And who you got and why? Milwaukee. Yeah. So you think but you think Giannis still will own think, KD? I don't want to say own. Oh, no, nah, but that's what I'm saying. Oh, that, that's that's like I know there's people out there that say that. No, people live by that. Yeah, but people I, live by I that. Don't own him. Not yet. No, nah, I don't want to say like. Yeah, he owns him just because he beat him in the second round. Regular in the oh, in the regular season. Oh, yeah, uh, Giannis scored 50 against the Nets or okay. 40, so he owns him. Nah, okay. it's just one of those things that Giannis just had the better team overall, better chemistry at the times that they played each other, and shit happens. Injury happens, a lot mm-hmm. of things happen, and yeah. he got the best out of him. Okay. But it's just going to come down, bro, that I feel like in the in the finals, I've already seen how Aiden <laughs> cannot guard Giannis. Okay. Like he couldn't stop him at all, and we know that Giannis is unguardable. Yeah, but it's yeah. just I've seen, matchup wise. Match I, yeah, I just seen the pressure that Giannis did to the Suns two years ago. Got even it. though I know they will have KD now, uh-huh. which would be way different. But it's just gonna come down to the point that I just feel like Milwaukee's more deeper than them. Got it. So you got Milwaukee taking it all. Yep. Okay. And I got I Giannis got, winning this year. And 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 I. But. And LeBron goes to the finals. You got him taking it off? I respect. Now, nah, I'm not going to lie. LeBron go to the finals, I got him. I don't think he's he's going to let it. I don't hey. know. I don't I don't think it's going to be. Hey, bro. Don't get LeBron get that. Don't nah. let LeBron get that fifth ring. Nah, I mean, I respect Don't it. let Curry get that fifth ring. Oh, yeah. Don't let Curry or LeBron get that fifth ring because then, then it's just like at this point. You know, yeah. and it's two, two great all-time generational talent players. I mean, we already know they went to the finals and seen each other. Since we was in, since times. we was in middle school, yeah, freshman year, yeah, or freshman yeah, year, yeah, like yeah. it's been forever. Um, and yeah, I mean that's really our takes on that. Now onto the yeah, t- I hope you're right, bro. Like I don't want to look stupid. Like imagine Memphis is the one that beat him go to the Western Conference Finals. Ew. Like it'll be like uh, a Nuggets versus Memphis Western Conference, or in the East, that's it, not. Oh, or in the East, it'll be like it'll be like probably like. The Sixers that'll catch everybody off guard. Yeah, or like the Sixers against who 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 they were. Sixers against the Heat. <laughs> nah, like no, the, no, no, no. Wait, you took a final round. Wi- oh second round. Oh, oh, final wise. Sixers against the Cavs in the Eastern Conference. Oh no, 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 that's not. <laughs> like it's like yo, bro. We <laughs> but I I think because <laughs> because crazy. of all the points we made, I don't think we're gonna be so off but of so course wrong, the future yeah. holds is his own results yeah, so yeah. we'll see when we get there exactly all right we almost closing out with this episode but before we close out <clears throat> i wanna we both want to give our top five most impactful role players for these playoffs um of course we don't know how far these teams is gonna go but just in a sense you know just give Give like, our point of view on who we think. Yeah, yeah, it, like it, like between any series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the players that are gonna be helpful for the star players exactly. on the team. Exactly. It, either if they lose or not. Uh, just, you want you want to give your five first? Yeah, I I go first. Right, go I'm on. gonna go with Kyle Anderson from from Minnesota Timberwolves. Okay. Or Tayron Prince. Okay. Even between those two. Got it. Because the way I seen them play yesterday. Yeah. And I know I don't watch. Uh, no, against the Lakers. Yeah, oh yeah, against the Lakers two days uh-huh. ago. The way I seen them play, like I know that Kyle Anderson can maneuver the ball for the Wolves. Okay. And Tyron Prince, um, he can knock down some 
good shots that and could possibly play some defense too. Mm-hmm. So e- even if they end up beating Oklahoma in the play-in tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Saturday's the yep. playoffs. So if they if they could beat Oklahoma and go against uh, the Nuggets, I feel like those two are like gonna be the ones to 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 really help the Wolves. Okay. So wait, that's two or one? That's one. That's two and one. Yeah, okay. I'm putting two I, yeah, one. I did the same. So you and, really and then uh, my second one is Michael Porter Jr. because I feel like DJ. Yes, I feel like him. He's just one of those players that the Nuggets. Are gonna need help from. Yeah, he he he's he's honestly gonna be important in that Suns Nuggets series. Exactly, if they see each other. exactly. Like I feel like if MPJ could score at least twenty to twenty five, with Mary scoring his and Jokic doing Jokic things, they're gonna win. Okay, though it's just one of those type of things. Okay, I and he could knock down a lot of good shots. I see. I, I agree. I agree. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. And then my third one, I say Mo Mo Bamba from the Lakers. Why? Wow, that's interesting. Because. And and that's what gets me upset by the the Lakers the Lakers head coach uh-huh. because Darvin Ham yes we got him on the trade from Orlando Magic and it's just one of those things that I feel like we could use him better mm-hmm. in a way because sometimes AD is in the in the in the bench sitting okay. down and it's and it's like okay we putting um because you know, like you could you feel like yeah yeah could throw another big body exactly. out exactly to... even though we we put Gabriel in to play the center position yeah. but I don't. It's just one of those things. I think Mobamba is a better defender than him. Okay. Because I mean, you he, watch the Lakers more than I do, so he's a, a, a Mobamba is a good rim blocker. Okay. And I'm not saying he's the the best shooter or nothing, but he could probably knock down one or two shots. Okay. So I feel like he could definitely like it's just gonna be one of those things that. At the end of the game, if he does that, that would be like, oh, damn. Those would be the deciding factors yeah, of if they win or lose. Exactly. And that's like, oh, if, okay. So if they use them correctly. Okay. So that's my third one. My fourth is Josh Hart. The Knicks have been winning a lot more games with him ever since he got traded there. Uh-huh. He's so amazing. you feel like he did an impact once he joined the squad? Yes. Okay. Like, he made them better. Mm-hmm. And he's a 3 and D type of player. He could knock down some threes. Even go in, I think, at some time. Good job, at some yeah, time. yeah, and he's an amazing rebounder. Got it. Where he can help Randall and Mitchell Robinson and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And he's a lockdown defender, bro. Like he he plays good defense. He's a hustler. That's gonna aggressive. be interesting seeing him against the Cavs. And I feel like they might put him on Mitchell. Think so? Yeah, they might. The, yeah, I, I feel like they might put him. All right. Because I don't see Brunson or. Nah, nah, or no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a fact. That's so, a fact. And then my last one is Desmond Bain from the Memphis because Ooh. um, he has proven, you know, that he's like John Morant's third best man besides John Jackson. Jackson. And at times he'd be the second best man bes- next to John Morant. Okay. Because sometimes. Jared Jackson don't see in foul trouble or whatever. Yeah, oh, he don't score as much as yeah. Desmond Bain. Desmond Bain could easily. I feel like he's one of those players that could easily get you a twenty. Got it. Just hitting good shots. Got it. Got it. And I think if I'm not mistaken, he's an okay, like an okay or good defender too. Okay. So he's gonna definitely be helping Memphis a lot that's, in the playoffs. That's that's a that's a good top five. Yeah. Uh, I uh, can't even lie. Um, I feel like most of the people watching probably agree with. The whole yeah. top five, or at least three out of five, because yeah, yeah. those are great, and I feel like the the, the the reasons why you gave it, you know, just yeah, yeah, gives it a, bit, a stronger point. Yeah, if you, if you look, if you look at it as um as like a, not an outside point of view, but if you just what they could do for the team yeah, at key yeah, moments, exactly. then, then definitely. Exactly. So now moving on to my top five impactful role players for these playoffs, uh, I did a, I did two on one just like All you. Right. Uh, I got Andrew Wiggins to start off. Golden State, Golden State small forward. Um, I feel like it's self-explanatory. Uh, the defense he brought last year. Who? Oh, Andrew and Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the rebounding. He's not a 30-point-per-game scorer, but he could drop 18 to 20 points. Mm-hmm. Um, he's, we put him We put him on the best. We put, him, we put him to defend on the best player on the other team. Yeah, like the, we, did it, we did it with, with the Mavericks series. We did it in the finals. And, I mean, I feel like he... Held his own. I yeah, feel yeah. like you know, and, and 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 Warriors fans would agree with me. Uh, and I also said Dante Divincenzo. Yeah, uh, Dante and is nice. Definitely, I, I feel like, like Dante. Uh, the steals that he gets at could could be important. The the, the shots he can knock down. Um, the playmaking he does, and he could low key 
get bored. See, he, his hustle yeah, is yeah, crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's a very like aggressive exactly. type of player. I'm not gonna lie, Don, I like Dante. Yeah, Dante is well, tough. Yeah. Don, I, I wish we could keep him, but to move forward, after, keep him after this year. But to move forward, I got Aaron Gordon. Okay. And I know that's going to probably catch a lot of people off guard. A lot of, bro, this, the thing about Aaron Gordon is, like, I respect your opinion, mm-hmm. but there's a lot of people that be like, Oh, he's whack. Oh, he's nah, whack. No, no, and this is why I, I put him on the list. And some people be like, "Oh, yeah, he's a he's a good player. He's a good player." I mean, he's you know? not the star, but he's a good role player. And yeah. this is why I say that if they face the Suns, his rebounding is gonna be important. Yeah, his defensive presence. He's not the best defender, but I just like how he could. Pot- he's lengthy, so he could mm. probably. He's a know, big body. Yeah, he's big yeah. body. Um, he could finish at the rim at any time, probably from a Murray pass or a Jokic pass. Yeah, we know Jokic is a pl- playmaker. Yeah, so yeah. I got Aaron Gordon, and hopefully that he could get bored. Yeah, for yeah, sure, he could yeah, do he, he could boards. do all the dirty work in a sense. Then I got Norman Powell from the Clippers. Yeah, I like that. Even one. though I don't got the Clippers coming out the first round, uh, I think that easy, uh, easy twenty. Yeah, yeah easy bench, twenty, whenever. and he could he stretches the floor. Yeah, he's he a could bucket. distribute the ball, mm-hmm. um, and if he show up. Of course, we don't expect more than 22, 23 out of him. Yeah. But if he shows up 26, 27 one game, you can't be yeah, his yeah, job. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. so Norman and Powell. No, and OPG is like, he's going to have to like, yeah, really score the exactly. ball more. Um, then I got Emmanuel quickly from the Knicks. Um, yeah, I like he's, he's a, what, ain't he a candidate for six men? Six men of the year, So yeah. uh, Emmanuel quickly, uh, he could stretch the floor. He's fast. He, he, he gets to the basket with no problem. You, you know he, you know who he reminds me of? Oh. Uh, Tyreek's Maxi. I think they were teammates in Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have the same similar They're play same, style. Yeah. They same similar play style. So I got Emmanuel quickly. And the reason why I put him is because they're going against the Cavs. I feel like his impact is definitely going to matter um, mm-hmm. off the bench. And yeah, I mean, we just I, gonna see. I'm gonna be honest. I got one more that I forgot. Ah, uh, let me finish mine. Oh, 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 oh yeah, I okay, got one okay, more. Okay, okay, yeah. So last but not least, Malcolm Bro- uh, Brogdon. Brogdon, another yeah. candidate for six man. Yeah, that's a good uh, one. for the Celtics coming off the bench. He could, if he could get, give them 17 consistently. Yeah, he averages 14. Yeah, I think, if he could give bench. them 15, 16, and I, the reason why I'm pushing his numbers up is because playoffs. You yeah, do what you yeah, ask for yeah, a bit yeah. more out of each player. Yeah. So 16, 17. That's good off the bench. And I feel like now, if any of the star players of the Celtics have a bad night, he could step yeah, up. Yeah, he could give him. him. Him or Derek White could definitely step definitely. up for them. And it's just yep. one of those things that I agree with you that Mal- like Malcolm Brogdon. Brogdon is just, he, he's a good role player. Man. Definitely. They, that was a great pickup. For sure, for sure. And, but I have one more. All right, go ahead, take to yours. I, I'm, I'm going to say Bruce Brown. Of the nuggets. nuggets. Why? Why you say that? Because, he, <laughs> like, I always liked him ever since the nuts. Okay. And it's because he's a he's a good playmaker mm-hmm. and a good rebounder. Yeah. Type of thing. He could score too. So I feel like it's just one of those things. Yeah, exactly. Like, but I'm, and, you know, they don't expect him to score. He don't need a score if we're being mm-hmm. honest. It's just one of those things that he could catch that, like he could catch a nice, you know, streak. Yeah, yeah, like a nice hot streak. Yeah. Or, and, and just. Oh, or if he's oh he if he oh he's like you know in a momentum during the game. Give him like, give him the lead or bring him back yeah, like a couple he's, points. Yeah, he's yeah. a he's a very good role player. Like I like Bruce Brown a lot. So okay, yeah. okay, I respect that. That's that's a good that's a good list. So uh out of your list, um two favorites. Yeah. Two favorites. And I could I could I could mention them again. So you got Kyle Anderson with Tehran Prince. Um, MPJ, Obama, Josh Hart, Desmond Bain. So which I like MPJ and Josh Hart. Uh, okay. MPJ because uh, his scoring, he's lefty. Mm-hmm. He could he could get a couple boards. Like I said, he's gonna be important in a, in a Sun series. Mm-hmm. And Josh Hart because of his defense, his rebounding, his rebounding is gonna matter against the Cavs in that first round. Yeah. Uh, his defense, he may not be a great great scorer, but. He could, he, could, he could knock down shots, yeah, 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 so yeah. those two, MPJ and Josh Hart, what okay. about you? I like Dante DiVincenzo for sure, mm-hmm. like, you see how I reacted to him, yeah, yeah, yeah. to me, I don't know, like, you I value his game, yeah, yeah, I value his game, I respect his game, I feel like if he needs to knock down a shot, he can knock down a shot, mm-hmm. and the way he just sinks with 
the you know with the Warriors. With the Warriors, it's just I feel like that system is good for him. Right. And it makes him sure. even stand out even more as it has shown this year, especially the times that um Andrew Wiggins and you know he he was out for a yeah long yeah time. he definitely and, showed and up and Gary Payton. So those two main defenders and players that the Warriors need, like he uh, he he literally like stepped up for them. Okay, and, and the other one. Wait, who you? So, mean, who I, you so you said Dante. Yeah. Then I, I said Andrew Wiggins, but Evan Gordon, Norman Powell, Emmanuel Quickly, and Malcolm Brogdon. I say I say Norman Powell. And why is that? Because I know he could get hot, and he was a he was a big factor for the Raptors. Like I've seen him. Mm-hmm. Be a, a good factor for the Raptors okay. twenty nineteen run. Yeah, he is a great player. F- and when they won the finals, and ever since then, like I feel like he's just one of those bench. Like I don't know if he was a starter. Like yeah, I don't think, I'm. I'm not too sure. I don't but, think he was a starter. But him coming off the bench is just one of those things that he has proven to be one of the best bench players. Okay. In the game, and he can even be a starter. Okay. In any other team. Yeah, for sure. So. I like him a lot. Like I feel like he's gonna, he's gonna at least have one or two. I don't want to push it three, but one game that I know oh, versus sure. the Suns that he's I even gonna, say two. Yeah, that he's gonna have at least twenty. Okay. Or more. Okay. Or fifteen or more, okay. but it's gonna be impactful. Like you're gonna notice the, that he scored it. Exactly. Right. I mean, that's. I feel like that's a good list on behalf of both of us. Um, yeah, for sure. We, we we gave you our predictions for the play. We we, we gave you our thoughts for the play, and we gave you our predictions first round, second round, Western Conference, Eastern Conference finals, and we gave you our finals predictions, and we even gave you a, a top five of the most impactful players who we believe will be impactful. Yes, sir. From the beginning of the series, no matter what round it is. Depending on how far they, how far they get, of course. Um, yeah, hopefully we we yeah. could be right about our predictions. Hopefully. Yeah, we could come. We could. Like, the thing I like is that we could always come back to the video. Yeah. And see what we was right or yeah, wrong. Yeah, about. exactly. And hopefully y'all could agree on certain um, takes. Like, yeah, Definitely. certain take points that we put out for y'all to like, you know, see and listen. Mm-hmm. And like I said, if y'all got other opinions and y'all think y'all team, For sure. it, it could be anybody else. It don't even got to be the main teams that we pick. Mm-hmm. If you guys think that they could be somebody else in a series, and stuff, know. just comment there. If you're a Kings fan, you could comment down and Facts. be like, yeah, Kings in four. It don't or matter. Memphis, but for, for him, <laughs> yeah, since yeah. he's a Lakers fan. Yeah, you know? so, so it's just one of those things that it's going to be a very interesting year now because now we're – we're close to like like I said the Paul George is a big miss uh-huh. but we're close to seeing uh uh like a full deep roster team oh, play yeah. against each for other sure. in for the sure. playoffs. For so sure. hopefully everybody stay healthy. Definitely and, throughout all the rounds. Um exactly. I feel like that's really it for this episode. For sure. I appreciate you for coming. For sure, and the funny thing is is we gonna get out we're gonna get off this camera and we still gonna be talking for <laughs> I mean, the playoffs hasn't really started, so... Hey, we're going to drop this episode... Tomorrow. Right? We're going to drop this episode tomorrow and watch, like, friends and stuff are going to be like, yeah, oh, you chatting. Definitely. Oh, like, yeah. I, Disagreeing. I have, yeah, I have other opinions yeah. and stuff like that that's about what we had to say. But and they get toxic in them group chats. It <laughs> get it's toxic. Just, it's just one of those things that... That's that's what makes basketball yeah, fun, Yeah, that's bro, what... Right? It, not everybody's going to agree with exactly. each other. You know, but exactly. let's see who has the last laugh. Let's see who I, team I, I, wins. I, one more question. What? Who you think is going to be MVP in the whole playoffs? Like the best player? Yeah. Oh, that's that's too hard, bro. I mean... I, I thought you would say, like, probably Curry or Giannis. Out, out, the, out the West? Is either, no, like in general. Out the West, I'll give you two. It's either... Curry or KD? KD and Curry. And out the East is Giannis mm. or Embiid. Embiid. That's I, it. I could agree. Yeah. I, could, I'm not I think those I two, I think those, th- those four players, both two different, East, Western, Eastern. We're going to see. It's, it's yeah. Like I said, let's see who has the last laugh. Let's see who wins. Let's see who loses. Let's see what takes age well, what takes don't age well. Make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, and you share this video for my TikTok people. Come and watch the whole video. Yes, Sit sir. down. Yes, sir. Kick your feet up. Get your popcorn and listen to our takes. Make yes, sure you sir. subscribe. And yeah, bro, like I said, I appreciate you for for coming. It's your boy Sancita, and I'm out. Yes, sir.